Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are going to be extending a sump pump line. It comes out of the crawl space right over here. And if you look underneath the porch here, let your eyes adjust, you'll see where it comes out of the wall and it's ending right here. So we're going to go ahead and tunnel underneath of this cross tie and then we're going to dig a small trench, cut the side, and bring it all the way out here to the rocks and let it discharge out into the lake. So over here where the discharge is coming out from the sump pump, what we've got to do is we've got to create you know, more of a gradual transition so we can go underneath of that retaining wall. And not real hard to do, you just got to dig it. But a great little project for the do-it-yourselfer. That's just about got it. It didn't take too long to do. We should be able to have our pipe make a gradual slope and go underneath of this retaining wall. And the way that we'll do that is we're going to use a flexible coupling so that we can get a little bit of bend on the pipe. Basically it's just going to slide on and then another piece of pipe and you can see we can get it to flex a little bit, tighten it up, and we'll go right underneath of that uh, retaining wall. <laughs> I've cut the pipe to length to slide underneath. On the other side, we'll make a connection again. But right here, we just need to put our no hub on. And then we can kind of force it down, force it right down in there. We'll come back and we'll tighten up these clamps and we'll be all set. So now we're ready to tighten up our no hub because we've got lots of flex in this line now. Remember a no hub uh, coupling is hard rubber and it's got stainless steel clamps. Some people actually call them expansion clamps because they allow for movement, but we're gonna tighten that up just as tight as that drill will make it. Nice and secure. Now we're gonna go ahead and cover this and we need to keep weight on this so that it doesn't pop up. So now I can just finish covering it up. If you're gonna do this yourself, try to plan it out so that you've got all of your material and your tools the things that you need you know to finish your job quickly and again by yourself I'd say it'd take you an hour and a half altogether and you're done so if you're going to cut sod it's nice to lay out your pipe and what we're doing is we're just going to chop right down through the sod along each side make sure you have you're wide enough to you know put your shovel down inside the the trench that you cut Try to get down and cut that root of your sod. If you've got good strong sod, this comes out pretty nice. Come back on the other side, pop it off. Then come back and take off one foot sections. You can see how easy it pops off. Just set it off to the side, keep it straight. So that you're able to put it back. So once your sod's off, go ahead and start your trench. Remember this is summertime here in North Carolina and this dirt is just like rocks. So because we're hand digging and there's sprinkler systems and all kinds of other stuffs out here, we are doing this by hand and we're just going to use the pick. Line doesn't have to be deep, but it does need to be underground. So we'll end up picking all the way down through here. And out here at the rocks, 
you can see I've already pulled the rocks up where we're going to discharge to. There is a little retaining log here, telephone pole type. We're going to tunnel underneath of this. And basically, the line's just going to discharge right in here to the riprap. That's what the stone's called, riprap. And you can see all the huge voids here. That water should just dissipate through the voids and, of course, you know, end up out in the water. So we've been here about an hour all together. Um, we've pretty much got this installed. The, our inch and a half pipe comes out and it discharges into the riprap. There shouldn't be any problem there at all. That water should find a way through all that stone without any problem. We had to tunnel underneath of that retaining log. We've got our inch and a half pipe installed all the way up where it comes out from underneath the crawl space. Basically now we're just going to cover and clean up. So when you're backfilling any type of pipe, you should definitely keep weight on it. Notice how he's got his foot down on the pipe. Just pull that dirt right over on your boot won't hurt it. The more weight you can keep on it, the better because that pipe tries to pop up out of there and if that dirt gets underneath of it, then you've got a problem. So once you've got your area raked up, you can go ahead and start setting your sod back. Remember, t put it back on exactly the way it came off and you also need to butt them together really tight. Just keep it nice and tight, set it straight into your trench. We'll water this it'll sink right back down to normal. So you can see how the sod looks. Nice and clean all the way back. A little bit of rake job here on the side. You can just rake that either up onto the trench or down to another end so that it disappears and you're all done. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. Reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.